Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the video. Today we're going to be making a sword out of ice. I'm joined with Landon and Keelan in the video today. The way we're going to be making the sword is we're going to be making an outline of a sword on a piece of wood here with Play-Doh and clay. We have a ton of Play-Doh right here and a little bit of clay. So yeah guys, I'll show you how we're gonna do it. Okay, so I'm gonna draw the outline of my sword on this piece of wood here. Okay, so we have a really rough, rough outline of the sword here. Keelan helped me with this a little bit because I'm not really good at drawing. So, if you're gonna do this at home, if you're gonna do this, make sure the outline of the sword isn't too complex because it'll be hard to make now. So now you're gonna wanna make some walls out of Play-Doh and clay. And also use plasticine because it's a lot better. Okay, so we just filled all the gaps here, and if you do have a knot in it, a knot in the wood, make sure you fill it up with clay because water will seep out through there. And now we're gonna go get some toilet paper and a big jug of water, and I'll show you guys how to do this. Let's go. So I got a roll of toilet paper here, and I'm gonna get some toilet paper, and you're just gonna wanna fill the inside of your sword up with toilet paper like this. We're not going to need a whole roll, only a little bit because it fills quite a bit. So yeah, see you guys when this whole thing's full. Also, if you see any water seeping out of the sides, because I put a little bit of water in it just to help it compact more. So if you see any water seeping out of the sides, make sure you put clay on it immediately so no water comes out. filled up with toilet paper here. Our toilet paper sword is what you could call it because that's basically what it is. So this is only toilet paper and water and this is called picrete. It's a type of composite material made of toilet paper and water. So make sure you pack it all down here and make sure you fill all the weak points with more toilet paper and try to get it even all over. So now we're gonna go throw this in the freezer. Okay, so I'm gonna put it right in the big freezer here. Right there. So, see you guys in a couple hours. Okay, so guys, sorry for the bad lighting, but I just took it out of the freezer after about an hour, and it's hard, but hard it's now. probably not frozen inside. It's and hard. yeah, leave it in here for a couple more hours. I'll keep you guys updated. Okay, so after like three hours, three and a half hours, our sword is in here. Take it out. It's rock hard. So let's take it outside and do some tests. Okay, so our sword is done here. I'm gonna try and work quick before it unthaws. So let's cut it off. Get some mold right here. material called picrete again. Okay, so see you guys when the sword is out of its cold. Okay, so guys, the sword started to unthaw a little bit, so I went and put it back in the freezer for a little bit just to make sure it's really hard for when we smash some things with it. So yeah, see you guys when it's out of the freezer. Okay, I got the ice star here. I don't want it to melt, so let's go. I'm gonna let Keelan wax them and set 
sadly it broke apart. Guys, the only weak point was right there because it looked like it got a little shorter there. So maybe there's a part two coming. This is a good part. Lasting a long time. Does it ever break? I know I can break it. Okay, it broke. No, we have to clean up this mess. Okay, so this is what's left of the ice right here. Lots of pieces, and they're quite strong too. Some of them are pretty strong. Some of them are weak, but the reason it broke is because it had a weak point in it. So maybe we'll see a third part two. Wink, wink. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video today. If you did enjoy, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and as always, make sure you stay awesome and peace out.